but I I was born in the middle of the flu and a sister ward would come and take care of the family. Uh, she'd carry the pots to the back door and little old Rodney would be sitting by the door which made him about four years old. And he'd take them out and empty them, come back in. So <clears throat> she probably saw us through the hardest part. Another early, early memory I have is we, I had an earache all of the time as, as a young child, so I'm being held by someone and bowing and open my eyes and look up at this face that's holding me and I thought, I don't know this and I really started to scream. <laughs> but it was Aunt Gertha had come up to re relieve mother of carrying that baby and... Oh, was she grandma's sister? Uh, she married Harold. She married Harold, okay. Uh -huh. So it it was Aunt Gertha that really scared me to <laughs> 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 pieces. Uh, the probably in about the last I remember of Dad was he would load us into a sleigh, would heat stones in the oven all night long, big old round rocks, and bundle us up in our heaviest clothes and quilts in some straw in the old sleigh, big old sleigh. And I remember him bundling me up and sticking me down under these quilts <coughs> and, and putting my feet close to these warm rocks. Now I imagine all the rest of the family was somewhere in the sleigh too, but he was sitting up on the front in the cold driving the horse down to Grandpa's place. That Grandpa Virgin? That was Grandpa Virgin. Uh, at Virgin's after they got through with the big meal, they'd roll up the carpet they had a big living room, uh, and he would play the fiddle, and and all of the guys would dance in the middle of this floor. So I thought, oh, I'll be so glad when I get big enough that I can come down here and dance. <laughs> but that stage never came. I don't know why. The Poor old Grandma, I think I remember her always weeding the garden. Grandma Virgin? Yeah. Weeding her beautiful flower garden, her vegetable garden. Now where was their house? From? It's kid a corner across from where Bruce's prison house is. Probably oh. a little farther south, uh, nearer to the premise of of where Mary and Leo's house is. Oh, okay. And so the farm they had was that they lost? It, it was a big farm. Probably ran from that corner almost north to the Withers property. Okay. I would guess close to half a mile, maybe maybe not quite that far. Wow, it's a big farm. And then dad and mother borrowed four hundred dollars from them to pay for their property across the street, which is the present property where Lynn's is living in Mary's house. Okay. And Bruce's property is across the highway now. So uh it it was interesting to 
to know that <coughs> when dad and when mother started to pay what uh, $400, Leo would take it down and old Harold would, oh, I'll take it in, uh, uh, you won't need to, and he pocketed it. As a teenage, uh, Grandpa and Grandpa came to our home and, and I could hear Mother and, and them arguing over Mother Money. had paid this mo money back and they said, no, you didn't. And it ended up in a, a fight that oh, that's so sad. Grandpa and Grandma said they would never come back to her place again. And they walked out and down the street. I guess they had to walk clear down to Harold's place. I don't know whether he still... Anyway, they, they had to have been still living there before they went to Bear Lake. Or, wow. or they went to Aberdeen first. So that was a sad parting. Did they ever reconcile, do you know? I, I have my doubts. To, to think that they lost their farm and, and blamed it on to their oldest daughter. And, and, and didn't blame Harold at all? Oh, they... Harold could do nothing wrong. It's kind of what Dad said. <laughs> <laughs> it's, after all, he was the only boy. Oh, yes. I think they lost a boy at probably the age of one or two years old. But Harold couldn't do anything wrong. He was the boy. Oh, that's sad. Uh, 